Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. The package of the day is this cube carousel slider, which makes your scrolling between the pages look super fancy. I'll link the package below so you can take a closer look at it, but I can show you real quick how to implement this into your apps. Now the first thing you should do is to go to your pubspec.yaml file and this is where we're going to add a dependency. So it's called flutter carousel slider and for the version number I'm just going to use the latest version as of today. So save it and let's close this file and I've got here two pages, the main.dart file and the home page. So just starting with the main function, I've got here running my app which is running my home page which is a stateful widget and inside I've just got here a blank scaffold. So in the body if you start typing carousel slider you should see what we imported as our dependency and let's specify some children. So these are going to be the pages to scroll between so I'm just going to use a basic container and give it a color and let's create another one and give it a different color. Now if I just save this it looks like we can just swipe through horizontally and this looks very normal so one thing you can do is in the carousel slider you can specify this slide transform and we want the cube transform. And so if I save this, we have this super nice fancy cube transformation. Now you'll notice once we get to the end of the children, we can't go any further. So there's actually a property here. So unlimited mode, which is by default false. Let's make this true. And this will allow us to just scroll continuously in one direction. Now when we do this, our background color is just white. So we can of course specify this to be a particular color and you can see the background color there as we move between pages. Awesome, now another handy thing to add to your app is this slide indicator, which you can see the two dots at the very bottom. So let's give it a bit of padding and I just wanna give the padding on just the bottom. And of course you can play around with the colors of each indicator dot. So the current indicator color, let's just make it white. And there it is. So obviously right now I've only got two pages, but if I add another container here, it should still work. And I don't think there's any limit in terms of how many pages you, you can add. So this is a really simple to use package, yet it makes your app look very fancy. So hopefully that was easy to understand. Play around with it and let me know if you have any problems. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!